why am I gaining weight if I'm in a calorie deficit? Um, and this is common. This is something that people get tripped up on a lot because you know you're in a calorie deficit or so you think, and you're doing everything right, but your weight is not going down. Um, first and foremost, it's important to make sure that you are in a calorie deficit. Okay. Like a lot of times when people say they're in a calorie deficit and they're not losing weight, it's because they're actually not in a calorie deficit, unfortunately. And the best way for you to make sure that you're in a calorie deficit and, and doing all the things that you need to be doing to lose weight and lose body fat, uh, is to track your nutrition. Honestly, uh, you know, there, there are a number of ways you can go about dieting and trying to lose weight and trying to get into a calorie deficit, but the most efficient and the most effective, and I I can back this up with years of experience working with my clients on this, is tracking your nutrition at least for a little while to get an idea of what your intake looks like calorie-wise. Because if you do that, and if you do it correctly, so that means tracking your nutrition accurately by weighing foods out, measuring foods out when the time and place comes to do that type of thing, making sure you're scanning barcodes, making sure that you're logging the portion sizes correctly. If you're doing all that and you can do that for at least a short period of time, you're going to give yourself a really good look at what your daily calorie intake is. And then from there, it's kind of just simple math. From that point on, um, I often say like reduce slightly, reduce your calories slightly. So if you track one to two weeks, and I would really recommend that you do it for two weeks, don't change anything about your diet, track what you normally eat for two weeks, and then take a step back, look at everything that you've tracked. And, and you know, most nutrition tracking apps like MyFitnessPal, it's super easy to just flip through day to day and see what your calories were, what your protein, carbohydrates, fats were. Um, go back and look at that and kind of get a feel for what the average intake for you has been on a daily basis. So you could simply just take a week, add up all those calories, divide by seven, and that's going to give you a average daily calorie intake. So from there, once you get that average number, it's pretty simple to just say, okay, if I'm going if I'm eating this much, Really, all you need to do is eat less than that, and over time, you should see your body weight come down. Um, What I often recommend is like not to go super crazy and slash a ton of calories off of that average intake number that you got. I would more so recommend like taking ten percent off of it, you know, Uh, and seeing how your body responds. So you 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 track your normal diet for a couple weeks, you get that average number reduce your intake by 10% on a daily basis, and then go for another one to two weeks and see how your body responds to that. And if you lose weight, that means you're in a calorie deficit and you just need to keep going and keep doing the things that are working. Um, So that's the first thing to make sure is like, are you actually in a calorie deficit? Now, the other thing I will say is like, okay, so you're not losing weight in a calorie deficit. Maybe your weight is stable or you've seen your weight go up a little bit. Um, There are so many factors that can cause your body weight to undulate, essentially, uh, you know, day to day. And and those day to day fluctuations are really something that trips a lot of people up because a lot of people get down on themselves where you think you're doing everything right. And then you get a couple of weigh ins, you know, back to back one to two days in a row where your weight's going up and you can't figure out why. So then you either quit or you make rash decisions on, um, you know, what to do and you slash even more calories and then you make your diet unsustainable and you you end up quitting two weeks after that. Um, But it's important to understand that like, even if you are in a calorie deficit and you're doing everything right, there may be weeks on end where your body weight doesn't go down and it has nothing to do with whether you're doing things right or wrong. You know, one of the first things that come, comes to mind for this is if you're a beginner to strength training and you're lifting weights while you're in a calorie deficit, um, you actually are very likely going to build muscle while you are burning body fat. And that's potentially going to make the scale go up, right? Because you're losing pounds of body fat, but you're adding pounds of muscle as a beginner, um, you may see the scale not move at all. And it doesn't mean that you're doing things wrong. It actually means you're doing the thing that most people really want to do, which is build muscle and burn fat at the same time. Um, And this is where, you know, taking 
body composition measurements, like, like measuring your waist every two weeks, taking progress photos every two to four weeks can be really helpful so that you're not only relying on just the scale to figure out what type of progress you're making. The scale is not always the best indicator of the progress that you're making. Uh, Another thing that comes to mind is stress. This is something that trips a lot of people up is just daily stress. And like if you're in a period of time where things at home are stressful or things at work are stressful, um, that can cause your body to hold on to some water weight for for a period of time. And again, that, you know, doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It just means life is stressful right now. And, um, you got to deal with that. And eventually the stress will go away and eventually the water weight will come off. And, you know, and additionally to stress, stress often leads us to, uh, stress eat and, and potentially not manage your nutrition in the best possible way. So like, there's just, you know, hopefully you can take it from, from here that like, there's a lot of different factors that go into whether your weight goes up or down. Um, and it's not always indicative of whether you are or are not in a calorie deficit. But what I would say is start with making sure that you actually are in a calorie deficit and are tracking your nutrition properly. And then from there, you can figure out what type of adjustments that you need to make. But if you don't start there, it's going to be really hard for you to, just understand those steps that you need to take uh, to to lose weight and make the progress that you that you want to make.